Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this issue, we'll be assembling Eagle Moss's Back to the Future DeLorean. This is issue number 22. And in issue number 22, we're going to assemble a lot of the engine fuel components, including the fuel injectors. With that, let's get started. Here's the magazine for issue 22. We'll open it up. Once again, there's a lot to do with this issue. The table of contents only has three sections. Drive time, which is assembling the parts, production diary, and the time traveler's guide. So we can see we have all the parts on the right side there that are included with this. There's lots of small parts, especially the fuel injectors are very tiny there. And some of the hoses are included with this also. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Eagle Moss Back to the Future DeLorean. I put a link in the description below. So do yourself a favor, subscribers in the USA. Do it now, because uh, get it while it's available, because later on it probably won't be. Here's our first section of the assembly. More parts on the engine. Lots of small pieces here. And uh, just like the previous issue, if there's anything that I can do to help you along with this build, I'll try to show it to you in this video. You know, there's lots of things that could be hard. We could be using our tweezers again with this issue. And then they get into the production diary, which uh, gets into preparing for the release of the movie. So I won't get into specifics with that, but we do have two pages on that. Then lastly, we have a single page about Christopher Lloyd and the actor who will forever be Dr. Emmett Brown. And then they gave us a preview of issue 23, which is more engine parts. So with that, I'll get the parts out, we'll get a close look, and we'll assemble. I'll be right back. Here's the parts pack included with issue 22. Lots of tiny parts here, hoses and such. So be very careful when you take these out, make sure you don't leave any of the parts in the plastic bag and they get thrown away by accident. So be very careful with that. I'll take these out, we'll get a closer look. All right, here's a close-up of the parts. Let's do an inventory of these parts. First off, we have the mixture unit housing and throttle valve assembly. We have the intake manifold. We have the mixture control unit. We have the thermostat. We have the fuel distributor. We have the throttle control. That's this right here, the throttle controls right there. We have a cover. We have a bracket, we have the arm, and we have six fuel injectors. Look how small they are. We have long hoses, medium hoses, and shorter hoses. We have MM screws. They're very small. Never got those before. And we have a bunch of AP screws. Oh, and these are all plastic. So with that, let's get this started. Let's get this issue started, issue 22. So, first step for issue 22 is we got to mount, mount this cover. And you can see it is keyed. There's a little bit of a key there on that rod. We turn it over, we can see there's a key there. So it's simply going to press fit on this, just like that. Just make sure it's straight. And that will mount on the back of our engine. There's a hole there. There's a tab just right here. And that will just line up just like that. And we're going to put an MM screw in. And these are tiny screws, so we're going to be very careful with that screw that we don't over tighten it. Line that up.
going in the plastic so we don't want to over tighten it. There we go. Next we'll put our water pump thermostat cap on and we want to make sure that this tab here for the hose is facing to the right of the engine and it's simply just going to go down on top. It looks like it align, there's an alignment tab here that lines up with that hole. Just like that. We'll put in two AP screws. Get them both started. Make sure they're tight so we don't have any water leaks. Perfect. Next we're going to install the throttle control to the arm. Need to flip this over. And the throttle control also has alignment tab. It's going to line up with that square right there. Just like that. And we will put an AP screw into this. Nice and tight. Looks good. And that part gets mounted on top of the thermostat housing. We're going to use an AP screw for this. There's two holes. One hole for the alignment tab, the other for the screw. If you turn it over, you can see there's an alignment tab on this. We'll put that line that on top of it, and we'll put the screw into the other hole. AP screw. Perfect. Next we're going to install the distributor cap on top of the mixture control. And this will have, doesn't really matter how they go, it's going to fit down on there into the two holes, line it up, turn it over. So we're going to line it up, and they didn't really stick out at all. So this is going to be, you got to try to line it up from underneath. Just like that. And we'll put our screw in. Got one started. kind of snug it up a little bit so I can get the other hole lined up. As I try to line up the other hole, I want the front face of the distributor cap to be kind of parallel even with the front of this. And there we go. The hole is lined up. You see in there. We'll put our AP screw in. Being very careful that we don't over tighten those and strip them out. And that's completed there. Next we'll install our distributor cap mixture control unit to the mixture unit housing and throttle valve assembly. We're going to use an AP screw for that also. 
making sure that the uh, distributor cap is on the outside. We do have an alignment tab, once again, a little alignment hole. And it's simply going to go straight down on that. And we're going to screw in our AP screw. Perfect. Next we install the intake manifold onto the mixture unit housing and throttle body assembly. And we're going to use AP screws for that, two of them. But before you do that, make sure that you note that your uh, open holes are on top that stick out. They're actually going to be on top here. And when you go to install this, it's completely flush, just like that. And then your, your screws go in on the other side. Okay. So it does matter which way, which direction you do. That's really important you do that or it won't fit onto the engine. So we'll put our AP screws in. We're going into plastic until you get some resistance and you can stop. Put the next one in. Perfect. That looks good. Next, that gets mounted on top of the engine and it gets mounted on the front part here. We have four screws that go in there that correspond with the four holes on the front. And this just goes down right on top, just like that. And we use four AP screws for that. get one of them started here. There's one. Number two. This is fun, assembling this engine. That's really cool. Kind of hard to see that one. And one more. It's on the other side. Just like that. And that is done. Looks great. Next we put the six fuel injectors into the distributor. Doesn't say we have to glue these, but we may have to later on. They just kind of snap in and make sure they're sticking outward. That's how it's done. I'm going to get the rest of these in and I'll be right back. I am back. I did end up using some super glue and some kicker for these. Be very careful when installing these that you don't drop them and your carpet swallows them up. So that happened to me a couple times, but they're all installed and ready to go. Now to install the injector hoses. And with that, remember that we have two long, two medium, and two short. So obviously the two short ones are going to be on the back, closer to the injectors on the back side of the engine. Medium ones would be in the center, and then the long ones would be on the far end on the front. So let's get this started. So you can see the injector fuel hoses out here, here, and here. So we're going to go with the closest. Going with this one to there. Okay, so we're going to start with the we're going to start with the shortest, and I dip the fuel hose in super glue. Okay, 
and I'm going to get them all in first. So that was the medium that was next, and then the next is the long one. Turn this around and do the other side. Short one first. Medium next. Like I said I dipped the end of it with super glue. And lastly the long one. I'm going to take some accelerator and kicker and just spray in there. Same with the other side. We will let that dry. Fuel lines have all dried. Now we have to do is arrange them onto the fuel control. I don't want to have excess fuel lines so I'm probably just going to cut off a little bit as needed as I go. So as example take about a quarter inch off the line here I'm just going to put a little super glue on it. Just like that. I'm going to tap that with a little bit of accelerator on a brush. And that should secure it. I'm going to do the rest of these and I'll be right back. So all the fuel lines are hooked up. They look great. They look fantastic. And you can see from the side camera how they look. I had to trim them off a little bit so they fit a little bit better. But there you have it. And that completes issue 22. We had a lot of fun with this one. A lot of small pieces were installed. We did use some super glue to keep some stuff secured. But other than that, it was fun. Uh, very hard to film this uh, on the camera. So that's why I kind of skipped out all the details. Showed you how I did one of the fuel lines. The rest fall in place just like that. You'll have to trim them so they fit nicely. But other than that, this was fun. It wasn't that hard to do, actually. It was, I had a blast with this issue. So the engine is really looking good. I'm impressed with it. Uh, what more could you ask for with that? With that, if you're from the USA, please subscribe to the Eagle Moss Back to the Future DeLorean. That's why I'm doing this. I'll make the mistakes first before you do. And uh, I appreciate every, each and every one of you who uh, have been watching my videos and following this build. Build along with me. You can get this, subscribe to us, to this, and you can get caught up with me pretty fast, I'm, I'm sure. I'm not that fast of a builder. I'm trying, but I'm not that fast. But anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell for all updates. So with that... Happy modeling, everybody. Take care.